the year. So uh, we got to step up for these Boston fans that have always supported us. You guys have had success in Game 7 as a group. What is it? What's the difference maker in a Game 7? The difference maker is really that edge. you got to play hard no matter if the shots are falling or not. And if they are, continue to make sure you're getting the right shots and the right looks. It's not about one person carrying the team. It's not about um, focusing on your, your goals and your priorities. The number one priority is winning. Yeah, not having Malcolm, you know, ask Sam to step in for a couple minutes, another guy to play 10 minutes, and I think he did a good job of that. Um, we definitely miss him, and we hope that he'll be able to return tonight, you know. I don't know the medical staff, that's their job, so. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, we've got to be prepared for whoever, whoever's ready to play. We're the next man up mentality, ready to get this win, because um, we got to accomplish our goal this season. Great, you guys have talked a lot about making this top line, Jimmy. How do you actually go about doing that? Yeah, from Jimmy, he's a talented player, man. He plays with a certain edge, competitive drive. You just have to make sure you don't foul him, make sure that you show your hands, make sure that he has his tick test and tough shots. Um, not allow easy layups, and then make sure he's taking those fall away twos that um, are difficult shots he might make, but at the end of the day, if you foul him, it makes it easier you know, to shoot from the free throw line than it is that pull up. So um, finishing plays with rebounds too, not allow him to get energy plays, get himself going, those are the main reasons. How do you gauge pressure in this moment? And is it on you, is it on them? Can't feel any pressure. At the end of the day, we've done our we've done a job of getting here. Now we have to do the job of finishing. You know, you don't work on a project just to get to the end and say, you know, we're done. Like you submit it to your teacher, you get a C. That's not what we do. You want to get an A. You want to make sure you you ace the report. You want to make sure that you come out with a certain level of I'm going to beat everyone around me. You know, if there's a prize that's, that's in store, why not why not us? Why not, why can't we have it? Why can't we go out there and take it? Because no one's going to give it to us. I understand you guys watched the documentary four days in October. What kind of impression did it have on you? So it's, it's honestly something that I wasn't like, in tune with. I didn't know anything about it prior to watching it. And next thing you know, it just kind of puts a certain level of, of fire into your heart, you know? It's possible. It's not only something that's possible, but it's something that um, we know that we can accomplish as a group. We know that we're going to not only um, compete with one another, but we're also going to push one another to, to our goal and our success. So. Um, it definitely left a lasting impact to me for not only just this series, but throughout the rest of my career. Grant, when did you guys watch that documentary for that game three? Absolutely. Grant, you have a memorable game seven. What do you remember about that day and just playing in game seven? Yeah, game sevens, you know, teams may make adjustments. I remember for mine, it was the adjustment was to let, not let JT and JB beat us, find somebody else, make someone else beat us in this close clutch for such a moment. And, you know, that game seven was that game seven. Every game seven is different. So, um, whatever adjustment they make, no matter if they play less guys, whether they go to more zone, whether they go with more switching and switching attack, you have to be prepared for whatever comes at you. I mean, you just have to adjust to make sure that um, you're prepared for whatever the outcome may be. So, if they're switching, make sure you punish them on the glass, make sure you're physical, make sure you're tough, don't allow them to steer you, you know, down the line. So, for us, it's game seven is in the garden, it's going to be special. And we Great. know the fans are going to be there for us. You mentioned so there, you guys got good looks at the end of the balls that didn't go down. Did you feel like you've been you know, getting a little bit better against the zone as the series is more off? For sure. Uh, I think we've done a better job of playing against the zone throughout the whole series. I think we've done a decent job of getting over looks. You know, sometimes they don't fall, but when they don't fall, creating those extra opportunities to put them in the zone, getting off some rebounds, as well as um, just continuing to make sure you don't think that because you're getting open looks, you're not going down, you're not going looks. So maintaining that level of mental um, edge and mental uh, discipline. And Marcus talked about playing free in game seven, like the most free that you've played this series, you know, not four, five, and six. How do you do that? You come out with the, the same approach we've always been. You know, we're the same team that we were when we started the series and before the season even started. So um, we're going to come out there and play with a certain joy, a certain life, and, you know, inspire one another to be the best we can be and allow those fans to be the same. Grant, uh, I'd like to follow up on the idea of pressure, and maybe it's something you can't afford to think about too much, but what do you think about when you wake up this morning? What, do, what is the emotions that leading into a game seven? Go get the win. All you can do is smile through it, man. Uh, you can't allow any pressure to get to you. You just have to come out. That, that first step up to the court, same as the first step up to the court in the finals. It's going to be something that's going to you know, take, you, take you back a little bit. You're going to enjoy the moment. Once you get into the moment, it's all, it's all fun and games. Man. You just got to go out there and play as hard as you can. And make sure to take your last game. The previous three teams that tried, you know, that were had a game seven, were all on the road. How much do you think it'll help you guys being at the guard for this? Oh, Celtics fans, do you believe? That's all we got to say.